Why do we worship the way that we do? What does that word worship even mean? Week after week, we follow this same pattern, a pattern of gathering and scattering, a pattern of journeying to these high points of where heaven meets earth, and then coming back down into the response which is our lives. This rhythm of worship we call the divine service. It's the German word Gottesdienst, which means divine service, from the Greek word liturgia, or liturgy, which means service. But the key is that it's the place where the divine serves us, where heaven breaks in to meet us. It is heaven on earth. And two weeks ago, we were gathered into the divine service by the invocation, recalling the words of baptism, those words that say we are children of God. Last week, we prepared for worship in the confession and the absolution, confessing what we know about ourselves and hearing what God declares about us, that we are forgiven sinners. And all this is preparation for today, all building up to this. Today, we look into the service of the word. The service of the word begins by summing up all that we've been doing so far in a blessing that recalls the invocation and the absolution. The Lord be with you and also with you. It continues with a prayer called the Collect. The pastor collects the prayers of the readings, and then he turns to the lectern to read those readings, first from the Old Testament, then from the Epistles, and then from the Gospels. The service of the Word reaches its highest point when all these are combined in the sermon. This is one of the two high points in the rhythm of our worship. And here, it might look like we are trying to reach up to God, Like this is the part of the service where we get advice on how to improve our lives, how to climb the mountain of God's love. But in reality, what we find is that God's word comes all the way down to us. He chooses to be known by this down arrow, by his son, the one who is the fulfillment of the scriptures who is set before you in the sermon, so that his mercy to us could be his mercy through us to others. So, We receive God's word, but then how does our worship call us to respond? Well, with these words, thanks be to God. And these words, they don't change. When it's easy to be grateful, thanks be to God. When life is full of storms, thanks be to God. In the middle of sorrow and pain, thanks be to God. In the middle of comfort and joy, thanks be to God. We sit alongside of our loved ones and our friends, hearing the word that comes from God alone and letting our response again and again begin with gratitude. And so, again and again, worship service after worship service, we hear again the word of God. We prepare for that word of God. We pray the word of God. We listen to the word of God. We treasure that word of God. We return to the place where God makes his mercy known. Again and again, we say thanks be to God for all that God gives in the middle of every chapter of our lives. Again and again, we remember and prepare for God to do what only God can do, to bring heaven down to earth. And that's the service of the word.